Well, welcome back to Detroit Garage. I've taken the F550 cab off now, and we're going to test fit a uh, Peterbilt 378. So the 378 is going to go onto the frame next, so we're going to see how that looks. Uh, that's a future project I have in mind for the uh, 671. And that, that's, uh, it'll either go on an F550 or an F600 or something of that nature. But I'll just kind of size it up now and see. But this chassis is going to have a silver, well it's going to have this engine right here. It, it's not built yet, I've got to build it now. It's going to have a uh, silver 453T with uh, probably a Eaton 6-speed and then a 4-speed behind that. What I'm going to do with this chassis is it's going to be home to this uh, diamond T up here. Well, what could go wrong? <laughs> so we're going to pull this cab, the two cabs out and then lift the uh, diamond T off and then put the Peterbilt down on the, the hoist.
Peterbilt 378. I'll talk a bit more about that once I bring the frame in. Well, there it is. I like it. That would be awesome. Let's take it outside and have a look, shall we? Get a good view of this thing. It's uh, food for thought. Nice. I like it. So this is just a, a test fit, but the Diamond T is, is going in here with a silver 453T. But uh, I'll tell you a quick little story. 
My F-350 has a Silver Series uh, 453T in it. And in 2008, I bought that engine for this project to put the cab on an F-550 chassis and the Silver Series uh, 453T in it. At the time it was a green one, but it's been rebuilt. Um, and have a mini uh, Peterbilt pickup. But uh, that never happened. My, my dad fell ill. I wasn't in Canada at the time. So everything went into storage and it just never happened. In the end, I ended up putting it in that uh, F-350. But I've always had this dream of doing this. I've built models of it. I've done a lot of, you know, kind of like uh, background work on this thing. And I found this cab on Craigslist and I went and bought it. It was super cheap, per basically scrap price. So I couldn't pass it up and I've owned it for about five years. Well, there you have it guys. That's the Peterbilt pickup. Let me know in the comments what you think. I've seen uh, rolling examples of this and they look really nice. So of course the cab will sit further back a longer nose you know and uh, yeah be really nice so we'll hold on to this for now it's gonna go on the back of the diamond T frame with the F550 cab you guys saw that the other day we put the F550 in here and uh, see how well this 671 fits Well, there you have it guys uh just for giggles again we're just test fitting this thing and uh yeah i really like it so i would love to do a project like this and to be honest this was gonna be the next project but i found a diamond t <laughs> and i've been looking for a diamond t oh geez since 2009 2010 and uh, i finally found one so I think the Diamond T will look really nice. Uh, that'll be the next uh, video coming up is now put the Diamond T in here and uh, just for giggles with this engine and then yank it all out and start building the Diamond T. So hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.